Prayer was such an important part of getting ready to for this film because of the grueling hours of makeup from 2 in the morning till 10 and not being able to sleep because of all the makeup. Um, I don't know if you've ever experienced a sunburn at all, but you know when you go through that healing stage of itching, oh, I, sometimes I had to wear the makeup on at night. And uh, so I never really slept properly. And the nonstop of headaches, because couldn't, I couldn't see out one of my eyes. And the, the thorns were in so tight on your head that you had a migraine headache all the time. Jim was absolutely amazing with the process and the procedure. I can only imagine what he must have gone through. And we might have to give you some verbal indication of hitting Jim like, a, like I'll say, swing, dig, pull. All right, something like that, swing, dig, pull. Okay, let's try, let's shoot. One day, we were doing the flagellation scene and um, one of the Roman guards struck and missed and hit my back on accident. I couldn't even breathe. The wind got knocked out of me. The pain was so horrific. I thought, okay, that won't happen again. And we went on, and he missed, and I ripped my hands out of the chains, ripped them out, and screamed. And I had this huge um, welt mark that, I mean, full-on scourge right on my back. And uh, basically, they took that and said, oh, okay, well, let's just match this, and they based it off that scourge. But every stage of the way, one day, um, I was carrying the cross, and um, I'm supposed to fall, and the Roman guard is supposed to catch the cross. He missed it, and the thing just crushed my head like a melon. Blood coming out of my mouth. Part of it is the fake blood, but part of it's the real blood, because it took like a month to heal. It was like someone held off and, and punched you, and, and, and your teeth just cut up against your gums. Any time that someone went by and hit you, hit the cross, it separated your shoulder, and this was, you know, I'd stop and, you know, scream. One of the shots, I remember going down some stairs and someone hit it, and I was screaming to heaven. It hurt so bad. There were so many days that we were shooting the Golgotha scene where he's up on the cross. This is when he's being crucified. And there would be winds of 40 miles an hour. Everybody's in jackets or parkas or trying to keep warm, trying to keep the sand out of their eyes. And here's Jim in a loincloth, covered in blood, and he's up on this cross 15 feet in the air, and the cross is blowing back and forth. And there's definitely moments when you're looking up there and you're just, you have your head in your hands. The gas heaters to keep you warm had gas coming at it, and I was very sick from them. I couldn't keep anything down while I was on the cross. Jim, oh, he suffered up there. He really suffered. I mean, it was freezing out there. He was up on this thing. His arm was like, he had trouble with a bad shoulder. It was all ripped out. And he never complained much. Every now and then he says, oh man, can you guys hurry up? You know, poor guy. I'm so full of antibiotics right now. I was about 200 yards away from Mel Gibson, who was in a tent, and began to rain. And you hear the thunder rolling. It, it got really quiet, like a, a eerie silence, and I knew it. I said, I'm going to get struck by lightning. And sure enough, I felt as though somebody took their hands and slapped them against my ears, and I uh, saw what appeared to me was like a pink static color for about seven, eight seconds. But the moment it hit, I heard people scream, and a couple guys before me grabbed the ground. And what they saw was like fire coming out of the right and left side of my head. And I looked like I went to see Don King's hairstylist. <laughs> he confessed that it was pretty frustrating, but he never blew it. He never lost his patience, you know. I never saw him lose his patience one time. And that in itself is a, a, a miracle, because I, I would have been flying off the walls. How many guys get to play Jesus Christ? I mean, this has just been a blessing. You know, Mel Gibson and, and, and playing this role. That I'm a kid from Malvern and Washington that grew up not even dreaming of being an actor that becomes an actor and, and is led and gets to play his son, uh, our Lord's son. And I'm, I, uh, I'm okay. Oh, yeah, Dad. Oh, good.